Hello everyone. We have Mr. Vivek with us and we are very happy that he has cleared DDA examination for architectural assistant. Congratulations to Vivek on that, firstly. Uh, so, so I'll be uh, uh, asking some questions to Mr. Vivek and he'll be responding to those and this I think will be helpful for our future students and aspirants of DDA examination. Uh, so Vivek, let me start firstly by asking you uh, how much time, like uh, right away, let me go to the preparation. How did you prepare for this exam? Uh, because I know that you were also working, you were doing your job along with this. How did you manage your job and the preparation and how much time did you spend on daily basis? Yeah. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much uh, for such a lovely introduction for me. <laughs> Actually, you know, I was, uh, uh, means currently I'm working in post office, which I got through SSC CZL 2022. So before that, I was practicing uh, architecture only. Yes, I was a practicing architect. Uh, I was working uh, with my friend Madhav Singh, who has a firm in Riva, Madhya Pradesh. So I was uh, looking uh, the projects in Jharkhand. So after that, uh, I wanted to go into the I mean, a government job. So that's why I prepared for uh, the SSC CCL because I wanted uh, you know a, a stable job. So that's why I went for it and. Uh, because uh, in SSCCL you have the uh, posting, uh, you get the post according to the rank. So I got the postal assistant, and uh, by the God's grace, uh, uh, I found uh, means uh, I was allocated my home district only, and it was in the district headquarters, so which is uh, just forty-five kilometers from my home. And uh, just because I was working, uh, so it is. Uh, I mean, you have to uh, means uh, you have to manage. Uh, the time very well, you know, uh, not because uh, means you have to allocate just uh, like I had eight hours of work. So after eight hours of work, I used to means when I return home. So I used to sleep for just two hours just after returning home so that I could be refreshed and so that I could start the preparation again. So at the time when the notification came, so I, uh, there I saw like uh, there were only nine vacancies and in my category, there was only one. So, you know, like uh, earlier, uh, I also means in the previous uh, notification, like uh, which came in 2019. So uh, I was in the waiting list. <laughs> I was just in the waiting list one. So therefore, uh, I always wanted to join, join the DDA. And that was really a very, really a bad luck that I could not join with uh, just one waiting. So this time when the one vacancy came, I was, you know, I was totally uh, well prepared and mentally so well prepared that this time if there is one vacancy i will definitely crack this one and uh, you know and uh, i met this lovely sir who I means i saw your video on youtube like uh, you were taking class so just when i saw it it was uh, just like the one month i had just uh, one month time to prepare for the examination so i took the course and uh, i managed the time like in the evening i used to take the class uh, means i used to study you know class for like uh, two hours the two hour lectures were there so I did that and uh, the best thing is uh, like when you're working or anywhere like whenever you prepare for the competitive exams, you have to make sure that you have the notes because those notes are uh, the ones which you can revise thoroughly in the end. Like uh, just uh, just like uh, it was the exam was on 28th August. So just one week before I completed all the notes and then I started revise like I revised like three, four times. So my notes were there. So I was uh, really pretty confident like i would get uh, good marks but uh, there you know that there should be also a luck factor which will select you <laughs> for this kind of job and obviously the competition competition is tough and every architect is uh, you know like well informed and all are very technically sound so it was really tough but uh, i managed like uh, every day i used to put uh, four hours four hours in the evening so then i managed and it really went well really well <laughs> That's nice. So you scored first tag in your category and that obviously the credit goes to you and the hard work you put in daily four hours along with the job. That is a difficult thing to do with commitment. That was really <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I would also like to ask you for this particular post, uh, was the criteria only the examination and the marks in it or was there any other criteria like uh, interview or portfolio or something like that? Uh, no, see, uh, just like in government exams, they have the competitive exams only. Uh, that uh, it was a single phase examination. 
like you have to score the highest marks then only you can get the selection so they put uh, this time they had a different criteria like uh, there, there was a single phase examination they took uh, which was on 28th august and after that uh, they selected for every vacancy they selected three times the candidates like there were nine vacancies those selected uh, 27 candidates because for for the for the document verification so they called uh, for the document verification on 26 december so all like all the 27 candidates came and i met uh, some of the beautiful people there <laughs> and all those lovely architects so it was really amazing uh and after that uh, like uh, they see the documents like uh, you have the all the documents uh, should be like they should be very clear uh they should not be like uh, i mean uh, through your video let me tell you like what are the documents they need uh because many people like they get confused like uh whether license is necessary or not so there is one thing everyone must know that in government exam means in government post license is a very must so if you have your license then you are definitely Means you are ready to crack the exam and you are ready for it. Like uh, in documents, you won't be failing it. So I had the document, I had the license and every I used to renew it. Means I didn't uh, do the dot li lifetime one, but this time I would definitely do because now I'm uh, <laughs> I finally into the UDA. So I have to do the lifetime one. Yes. So in short, like single phase examination, then document verification, then the finalists come. And who have uh, whoever has the those uh, right documents means uh, they take people in so much number just because many of the people don't have uh, those documents correctly because some are in the provisional uh, those provisional degree they get and some don't have license so license is a very much for every uh, government architectural exams. Okay, so renewing the RTOA uh, registration certificate that's very important. As you are yes. yes, yes, because That's a very they, important. Thing. Yeah, they have not mentioned in the notification, but uh, when you go, they will definitely check. Okay, so that's a very important information for yes. the future aspirants. Uh, yeah. I would like to end with a last question. Uh, for DDA, particularly, there is a one third weightage for general awareness, reasoning, English. There are 40 marks out of 120. Yes. So mm -hmm. that's a huge number of questions. Uh, how did you prepare that or uh, what was your uh, take on the preparation for the general aptitude part and the general awareness part? See, for general aptitude, you know, like I was already preparing for the SSC CZL. So they took, uh, that's a very, uh, means, uh, they take uh, uh, means, uh, candidates in that generalized field, just like you can get to the income tax office or excise inspector. So the syllabus is totally different. So when I was preparing, I was not into the architecture. Uh, means architecture, uh, so theoretically, I was not into the architecture. So I was already preparing for the current affairs, the those uh, general studies subjects like uh, those uh, common science, uh, means the general science and uh, the history, geography and everything, the polity ones. So I knew that definitely they would ask uh, questions from here. And, uh, you know, you have this intuition that some of these type of questions will definitely come. And the one thing is you must go to the previous questions, which are, you know, they are the guide for the every examination. So I took like uh, the two, three years, uh, uh, the previous questions, uh, I saw that. And also from uh, the KP classes, I took uh, those uh, mock tests also. So that uh, means that will prepare you very well. Yeah. So for general aptitude, in short, I want to tell the candidates like uh, you have, uh, there are many books which are available, like uh, those current affairs which you can read, like uh, the Nobel Prizes they normally ask. Or uh, That's very tricky because these examiners are not done regularly because in three years or in four years they give the vacancies. But you have some idea like last six months current affairs, they, definitely they will ask. And there are some uh, those uh, objective questions. Uh, uh, like the general awareness questions they will ask which you must know like uh, uh, for example the who was the last uh, governor general of independent india and uh, i mean uh, so that's why i see raj gopalacharya <laughs> gopalachari so that type of questions you know because in preparing upsc that helped me and reasoning is quite easy reasoning you can obviously crack and uh, uh, quantitative aptitude uh, every architect knows numbering very well 
<laughs> and english is obviously every active uh, english is pretty well so that's no problem in that one only general awareness part you have to means uh, well prepared okay that's wonderful and thank you eric for your insights and i'm sure this will be helpful for our future aspirants and our students and yes. uh, we are very proud of you and we are happy to be a part of your success uh, congratulations again and all the best for your future uh, thank you very much sir and it was really i was uh, i'm really elated to talk to you and uh, and i'm really uh, delighted that uh, i talked to the rank 1 I means uh, pe many people don't know that sir has got the air rank 1 in get <laughs> get examination so many congratulations for that sir it's thank really you. an honor thank you and uh, one more thing i want to say that uh, the coaching I means that teaching because teaching is pretty difficult like teaching students guys uh, i don't have that uh, capability I means uh, i have the capability but i don't have that kind of skill to teach everyone but uh, the way you teach the way every uh, the way every teacher taught and it was really I means very easy to understand and it was uh, uh, i mean uh, very good and it was really very nice and so uh, and uh, regarding every people say that coaching is not important coaching is important but your hard work is more important because uh, through kp classes you know i got the proper guidance because i had the minimum time i just had one month and i want to prepare so <clears throat> i took the the opportunity and uh, really miss uh, obviously you know that before preparing i came to your class in delhi and uh, just just for my official work i came to delhi that time and uh, so i visited and i took all the notes and i took the classes so miss uh, your class was really the trump card for me <laughs> for getting such a great selection in just uh, one vacancy for my category thank you very much sir. thank you very much thank you thanks a lot vivek we are very happy and proud thank you thanks sir.